What is up guys, Fish in Colorado, coming back at you guys with another great video here. And basically what I got for you guys today is some footage from the 2020 Bass Bond, guys. If you are avid bass fishermen, you'll be aware that the 2021 Bass Bond is quickly approaching here in about a month or so. So I thought it'd just be a great time to review some of this underwater footage and just look at some of those bass behavioral characteristics and just some of those things that you guys might expect here in about a month or so. As you guys can see now, I've got a bass coming into the frame, and this fish is definitely locked on a bed, guys. If you are unfamiliar with the bass bond, guys, it's basically a time of year when the bass pair up to come shallow and create these gravel beds, guys. Once they've created the gravel bed, they will lay their eggs, and the male will stay there for the duration of time until those eggs basically hatch, and he will stay longer than that until the fish can swim off on their own. In just a quick second here guys, you're going to see my bait come in from the left side of the screen. Right there. Right here I'm using a Rebel Floating Minnow. If you guys haven't seen the full video where I catch several fish during last year's Bass Spawn with this bait guys, I will leave a link to that above. Uh, but basically what I'm doing right now is just looking for that fish to take notice of my bait. I know that I'm on the bed. I'm definitely in an area where he most likely doesn't want me to be and I'm just looking for that one area that's gonna piss him off. As you can see, he hasn't really taken notice, so I'm gonna come back in with another cast here. Here's my second cast coming into the frame right now. We got a little stuck on that branch there. Um, but like I said previously, guys, we are in the area that we need to be, and we're really just now looking for that fish to take notice. Right now, I'm not even moving that bait, guys, because I'm just waiting for that fish to come back into the area. Here in just a second, guys, you're going to see this bass swim in with his partner. And once he sees this bait, guys, you're going to see the immediate reaction. There he is. An immediate strike, guys first time that he saw this bait on the bed guys he was drawn in and we at least got a strike which is a really good sign now this fish has taken notice guys he's a little more aware and as you can see he comes right back to check out the bed even though my bait's not even in the water he's definitely on high alert now and that's really what we wanted here i come back in with another cast guys and once again, you can see his behavior immediately eyeballing the bait and comes in with another strike there. Another thing we can notice about this bass's behavior, guys, is now that he's taken notice, he's really not leaving the frame. He's right there in the back left corner. He's not making his full round. That little jerk, guys, is all it takes just to get that quick reaction. And there we can see that's the third miss on this fish, guys. But obviously, he's very interested. He does not like this bait. And really, what you're looking at during the bass spawn, guys, like I said, these fish really aren't looking to eat your bait. They're really looking to move it or scare it out of the area to get it off the bed. Another hard strike right there, guys. And now it's basically just a matter of time until I catch this fish, guys. He's locked in, and you can tell this fish is very agitated with the bait. I'm pretty sure I come in with one more cast right here, and I'm pretty sure that seals the deal. He's right there being very observant, not leaving the frame, as I said. Notices the bait immediately, and we get him. And this is basically the scenario that you're going to want to recreate every time during the bass pond, guys. 
You have a small window of opportunity each year to fish in this specific way, guys. But I would hope that everybody would get at least one shot at it, guys. It's very cool to fish for bass uh, visually the way that we are right here, guys. Seeing their reaction to each of the baits, guys. And it's very important to mention, guys, that each bass is very behaviorally different. Just because one fish eats one bait doesn't mean that every single fish will eat that bait, guys. You might have to toy around with these fish. But once you find what they like, you will get an immediate reaction just as we did without this fish throughout the entire video, guys. If you guys enjoyed this content, please be sure to like and subscribe this video, guys. I will definitely be making more videos highlighting the bass spawn in the upcoming month here, guys. Just kind of highlighting some of those things to look out for. And if you guys have any questions, guys, uh, just leave some comments below, guys, and I'll be happy to answer them for you. We'll be back with another great video real soon. Thank you for watching.